it's funny because when I wanted to make my career change, I had no idea what I wanted to do. So what I did was I quit my corporate job and I started taking classes like baking, pastry, photography, different things, just to see if I had any interest in any of those things. And at one point, I met a woman that had taken the bread program that I ended up taking. This is all back in Chile. And she and I had like a really nice conversation where she could show me like what it was like, what she was able to do with it. And I was like, hmm, this is something I could look into. So that's how I got into bread. Just because I felt my life was super boring, just like waking up, dressing up, going to the office. And every day I go to the office, I was like, this is it. Like I went to college, like the dream of everyone going to college for this, like there must be something else. So when Jose and I decided to move here, uh, I was like, okay, I can start fresh now. Nobody knows me. So nobody has any expectations of me. And I need to take the risk now. My biggest fear was failing. It still is. But then my other fear was not trying and living my life knowing like, what if I had done something else? What if I had taken the chance? Um, so I just closed my eyes and did it. And that's what I do until today when I get scared. I love how it's different every day. And also um, the creative process behind it, like figuring out how to make a living out of this. So I don't know, when the pandemic hit, I had all my classes like scheduled for like six months that was done. So having to sit down and think. And I enjoy that. Like, what can I do that I enjoy? That could be something that people could be interested in. Or, I don't know, just figuring out. I find that interesting. And then putting it like into practice. Like, see if um, I'm able to sell it or anything. That's so fun. And as I said before, doing th different things every day. Like, some things, some days I need to sit and think. Other days I get to make bread recipes, consultancies in-person classes, private events, live classes now, virtually, um, photos, I love taking photos, and I don't know, anything. And then there's days when I'm tired and I can take a break and I do, so it's like the flexibility and the wide range of things that I can do. And last, um, it's funny how when you start something, it ends up, you take like different paths that you never knew you were going to take. For me, at least, when I took the bread class, I met like the group of people that did the class with me was from another world. It opened my eyes in so many ways, like all the, I think you say paradigms that I had, like I thought I was going to be the older, I was one of the youngest, everyone was doing something, everyone was trying, and I was like, I was missing out, like where was I all these years? I wish I would have done it earlier. Maybe I wasn't ready. I don't know. But it's funny how the more you try and attempt doing different things, you meet people who take you through the roots and you end up like having more options that you would have ever imagined. So it's been so fun. Thank you everyone for supporting me and for one more year.